What is up, investors? And welcome back to the Everything Crypto Show. I'm your host, Everything Crypto, here to bring you the latest and most important news moving the crypto markets. Now, as always, please remember that nothing on this channel is financial advice. These videos are for viewer education and entertainment purposes only. So please invest responsibly as I want this community to thrive in the long run. And I love and appreciate you all. And on that note, we have a ton to get through today, including all of the moves that Crypto.com is making to put the Kronos chain at the the forefront of blockchain gaming. We got to talk about some of the GameFi existing games that are on the Kronos chain, as well as some of the upcoming play to earn games. And we also need to talk about some of the relationships that Kronos has been making with traditional gaming giants. So this is part two of the Kronos verse series. If you do want to check out part one, we will leave a link to that in the description down below. And it pretty much breaks down exactly why crypto.com is so bullish on blockchain gaming. It is definitely very important to understand the research to understand why they're making such a big push in that sector so go ahead and check out part one if you would like and also just some basic house cleaning if you've not yet hit that sub and like button please consider doing so especially if you are a crypto investor as the whole point of this channel is to bring you all the news that you need to know on a daily basis and i am going to be back from vacation on august 25th i am very very excited to getting back into the crypto market updates now on that note we're going to start off here by talking about chronos play which is effectively at the epicenter of the Kronos chain and of the Kronos verse, in my opinion. And this is basically integrated software that does allow you to start building your very own games on Kronos today. Now, the very first thing that I do notice here when it comes to Kronos Play is the fact that it does have full support for two game engines in specific, Unity and Unreal. Now, why is this so important? We're going to address this right off the bat because essentially Unity and Unreal are not only two gaming engines, they are two of the biggest gaming engines in the industry. That is why I have full confidence that Kronos Play knows what they are doing, rather the team behind this, because they know that Unity and Unreal does attract the most talent. It does have the most AAA games games and that is exactly why they have focused on making Kronos play interoperable with these gaming softwares. So for starters here, Unity Software, you may not know them by name, but odds are if you played any game on your mobile phone, it probably was created by Unity. They do have a ton of options here and as you can see here, basically uh, Unity provides a gaming solution for developers to bring your vision to life with Unity's industry leading tools for building incredible performant gaming experiences and it does also allow you you to build, manage, and grow your game as you can build cross-platform multiplayer games, manage live operations, and create personalized experiences for players with Unity Gaming Services. So a very, very big gaming engine right here. And the second one that is big here is the Unreal Engine. Now, if you guys or your children do play Fortnite, then you may not have heard of Unreal, but you definitely do know about them because Fortnite was in fact built on the Unreal Engine 4. That is exactly Exactly why crypto.com has gone ahead and actually really gone to integrate Unreal into Kronos Play. They also were the creators of Little Big Planet here, and they did go ahead and just release the Unreal Engine 5, which a ton of projects are actually tapping into for the metaverse. So you can see that crypto.com is not just making a bet on one of the biggest gaming softwares in the world, rather both of them, which is absolutely crazy in my opinion. I think it will lead to a lot of very, very impressive games coming out on the Kronos chain. And what they actually gone ahead and done here is they've also made it very easy for developers to actually figure out how exactly you can integrate your games onto the Kronos chain so you can see here if we go over here to documentation and uh, then you're going to go ahead and take a look at Kronos Play and boom here you have it developers can actually go ahead and read this doc to teach themselves how to move a game on Unreal from any one blockchain onto the Kronos chain they also show you here how you can move any game from the Unreal engine from any blockchain chain onto the Kronos chain and it doesn't even need to be on a blockchain it just needs to be running on the Unreal Engine and you will be able to get it on over to the Kronos chain same thing with Unity so very very impressive there right off the bat that they are going after the big dogs in terms of the gaming talent which will be incredibly important now why are there some other reasons that you should build your game on Kronos and the first reason here is what we just covered the multi-platform support on multiple engines like Unity and Unreal which are the two most important the scale up adoption with the Kronos Labs Startup Accelerator, exposure to their rapidly growing community of 10 million plus users, and if you go ahead and factor in all of the Crypto.com users that may potentially move over to the Kronos
Kronos chain, you were looking at upwards of 50 million potential users. The fact that Kronos is highly scalable, transactions are faster, cheaper, and greener when compared to Ethereum, as well as the inter-blockchain communication protocol with native interoperability and access to Cosmos. Now, they do have a roadmap here with some of the other features they are looking to integrate into the Kronos Play sector, including the Crypto.com Pay, Crypto.com Off, and Crypto.com NFT. So they're also looking to vertically integrate their own platforms onto Kronos Play to make GameFi and blockchain gaming as easily accessible to the general public i really like the strategy and the seamless integration of their main app their centralized exchange with the chronos chain and specifically chronos play Kronos did also go ahead and join the Blockchain Gaming Alliance, and this move does really reflect the real progress the chain has made with regards to play-to-earn and metaverse projects. So, they were the latest member to join the Blockchain Gaming Alliance in the midst of the GameFi push that has seen them attract play-to-earn projects from competing chains, including Binance, which we are going to break down a little bit later on in the video. Now, this is incredibly important because the Blockchain Gaming Alliance does provide an open forum bringing together crypto and gaming giants offering avenues for collaboration now who else is a part of the blockchain gaming alliance well if you guys did watch part one of this video we did mention ubisoft we told you guys they would be incredibly important in part two and that is because they are actually a part of the blockchain gaming alliance so there is now a direct link between chronos and a traditional gaming giant in the form of ubisoft so definitely very interesting indeed also considering that ubisoft does sit on hedera's governing council so so will they build on the Hashgraph? Will they build on Kronos Play? Who knows? But I do know that the Crypto.com team is very, very resourceful in attracting top talent. And I would not be surprised whatsoever if Ubisoft did actually end up building out on Kronos Play. And that would be absolutely insane. Just imagine if Ubisoft's first blockchain game was built on Kronos Play. Think about how much attention and TVL that could potentially bring over here to Kronos. So definitely a very interesting link in indeed but now aside from all of these links and partnerships i want to focus more specifically on some of the upcoming play to earn games as well as some of the games that are already out in the chronos verse and why they look incredibly promising so for starters here we're going to talk about the loaded lions as we have talked a great deal about the great crossing which is occurring on august 11th this will actually be uh, it will have actually happened by the time this video goes live as again this is pre-recorded while i am on vacation but what we know here is that the loaded lions and the cyber Cubs have gone ahead and moved over from the crypto.org chain to the Kronos chain. Now, why would they go ahead and do this? Why would the Loaded Lions move from the crypto.org chain to the Kronos chain amongst a massive push from the crypto.com team in regards to GameFi? Well, I would highly suspect that that is because they want the Loaded Lions and the Sober Cubs, as a Sober Cubs, the Cyber Cubs, to play a key part in their upcoming metaverse. I definitely do predict that the Loaded Lions and and the Cubs are going to be a key factor in the Kronos verse. I don't know exactly what kind of game it will be yet, but I do believe that Crypto.com is not only moving the Loaded Lions over to the Kronos verse to get more attention on the Kronos chain. I definitely believe that they are looking to take full advantage of what Kronos Play has to offer that the Crypto.org chain does not. And that means I do expect some sort of metaverse play to earn game with the Loaded Lions and Cyber Cubs within the next year. I definitely do think that although it may not be out within the next year that it is definitely in the works i think that when this happens it will drive a lot more demand towards the lions and the cubs and really show people that crypto.com is serious about their nft collections as well as GameFi. now we also have this tweet here from red falcon crypto who actually is a community manager for the loaded lions and he literally says right here that play to earn is the next step for the gaming industry it's all going to take place on the blockchain in the form of nfts once the big players start to see it's usability and the ability to profit from what would have previously been the black market in gaming fire emoji if you know you know I know. I know what he's talking about. And I know this because I actually did used to have a business in the traditional gaming sector. There are tons of black markets where people actually sell their games, which is usually forbidden from games. Like they just fully sell their accounts to other people. And the basic premise here is you spend all your time grinding up an account, and then you sell it to someone else, you start over. And some people legitimately do make a living this way through the black market of gaming. However, this will no, no longer be sort of like a black underground market. This will be an NFT 
marketplace in which you are able to grind out a game, either level up your characters or your items, and then you can resell them on the market for actual currency if you so choose. This is the power of play to earn of GameFi, and I definitely don't think it's a coincidence that Red Falcon tweeted this on July 22nd, just a couple days after, or sorry, the same day actually that the Great Crossing was initially announced. So coincidence, I do not think so. And if you do still think it's a coincidence, I want to show you the Cyber Cubs poster here real quick. And what you're going to notice, I mean, okay, first of all, they're in an arcade. Like they're in an arcade. So that's already, you know, a little bit indicative of what they have planned for the Cyber Cubs. But you're going to see here, they do also have some very subtle hints like game on. You can see all of the Cyber Cubs. We have a bat, we have like a ray gun, a laser gun. And uh, this is definitely a very, very uh, hint filled poster in my opinion I don't believe that this was unintentional I believe that it definitely hints towards the fact that there is supposed to be some sort of uh, you know loaded lions and cyber cub game by metaverse application I do think it just makes a lot of sense for crypto.com I think it benefits the brand name I think it benefits the chronos chain as well as their nft collection and I definitely do think this is something to come in the near future and we already know that they do have the best talent in terms of the gaming engines as they could potentially build a loaded lions game on either the unreal or the unity engine now we're also going to talk about the upcoming mma game the new mad meerkat arena game that will be coming out in the near future first we're going to take a look here at my man kenny doc crow who has gone ahead and tweeted pictures of some of the mad sacks that he has booted and these are actually going to be items that you will be able to bring into the mad meerkat arena now, this game sounds incredibly interesting. Indeed, it is something that I am looking forward to, and I'm going to walk you through exactly why. So here is a Twitter thread from Chill.Crow, and he basically says that MMF is launching MMA soon. Here is a breakdown of what we know and how this can affect the entire MMF ecosystem. So the upcoming MMA game, which is expected to launch on the Kronos chain, will be the ultimate cross between NFTs, DeFi, and GameFi slash play to earn. So MMB NFTs will be used, each having their own style stats and you start off at level one and as you defeat monsters and players in pvp you gain experience and you will also be able to farm svn the mad token is the governance token for mad meerkat arena which will bring utility to the mmt nfts you can also use mad to upgrade fighting gear slash equipment mmf will be used as gas for certain in-game mechanics now svn can be farmed when you fight monsters in the wilderness and can be earned when you pvp other players svn will be used used to level up your character and upgrade your equipment it will also be used for purchases in mma and then it will be burned this equals demand for svn and low supply which should lead to some price appreciation so those are the tokens that are involved within the ecosystem now let's talk about the four other mechanics in the play to earn game and the first one is wilderness where you can battle monsters to earn svn this will be simulated so the better your character and weapon stats the better your chances of winning you also have the tavern where you can buy experience points to level up your character using SVN and the higher the level the more expensive it is to level up over time you will need more and more SVN now three they have arenas where you can fight other players in PvP battles and you will earn SVN and mad there isn't a participation fee paid in SVN that you do not get back if you lose so definitely very interesting indeed this concept right here that you basically pay to enter the battle arena and you either win and earn more rewards or you do lose and you do not get your participation fee back and then the sanctuary where you can actually stake svn that has been earned to continue to earn no matter if you win or lose in battles now locking up uh, this svn equals eliminating the supply once again and it is the main in-game currency so they have gone ahead and created a game that will create demand for svn with character slash weapon level ups pvp fees and other in-game activities then you need mmf to hold for gas like initiating a fight and mad for the weapon upgrades these different game mechanics will add utility for all of the ecosystem tokens so very interesting indeed you can kind of see this connection now between the play to earn games between the chronos chain and between the projects on the chronos chain now it actually does fundamentally make them stronger 
Now, obviously, this is assuming that the game is something that is fun and attracts users. It does all depend on how the broader ecosystem does adopt the game. However, I definitely think that with the Chronos chain and the push that they have been making here into the metaverse, that if the MMF team does this right and they use Chronos play to their fullest ability as well as the gaming engines that it does offer, I think this could be a very, very impressive blockchain game and benefit MMF, but also the Chronos chain as a whole. Now, we got to talk about the Chronos Accelerator program here which is another big big booster for chronos play so here they actually went ahead and announced nine different projects that they were actually selecting for this chronos accelerator program and right off the bat you're going to notice that five out of nine of these are web3 gaming projects so it's very much no secret at all that they are making a huge push into web3 gaming i mean the fact that over half of these projects announced are in the game five sector is definitely very telling indeed now two of them here that i do want to specifically look at include dg pals and the new resistance so starting off here with dg pals this one is very interesting indeed because dg pals actually used to be a game that ran on the binance smart chain and chronos just straight up came up in here and poached them from the binance chain and brought them over to chronos play now, DG Pals does look a lot like Pokemon in the sense where you do actually get your DG Pals. You get to watch them mature into NFTs. You're able to find tokens with your DG Pals. That is, this is one of the ways you can basically play to earn some sort of actual in game currency. You can also go ahead and do five versus five squad battles, collect, strategize, win, and earn. You can also go ahead and do a siege defense game, land ownership with real world and in game privileges. You can play with your friends. You can get limited additional. DG pals and you can also do clan raids and clan battles for greater loots so you can basically take a look at the full trailer here and then they also do have their very own in-game uh, token including their DGG governance token and Opal their game token so very interesting concept indeed you may have also seen DG pals available on Ibisu's Bay and once again this is the power of having a blockchain game is the fact that you can actually go ahead and list them on a secondary market if if you so like and this is going to give you access and give you the opportunity rather to actually make money from your nfts if you decide that you no longer want to play or if you do want to go ahead and actually upgrade your characters then you can by going over to ibisu's bay and grabbing yourself one of the more rare dg pals that is offered so very very interesting indeed this is a project we've been covering right now really for quite a while and the reason being is i really like the concept behind this project it does seem to be the most advanced in terms of what it is actually trying to achieve now yes it is very very clearly similar to pokemon but i mean if you ever play pokemon as a kid imagine being able to catch a pikachu and then sell it to someone for money in real life that almost never happens unless it is through some sort of a black market and dg pals is now giving you the opportunity to go ahead and take your dg pals your incredibly rare ones and you can choose whether you want to continue using them or sell them for a significant profit so very very interesting indeed i really like the concept behind this game it is one that i have been keeping an eye on really ever since the chronos chain did go ahead and poach them from the bnb chain and since they have moved over to the chronos chain they have made a ton of progress from what i I have seen so definitely very interesting now what i find more interesting here and what i really want to focus on is the new resistance now this is a game that was just introduced to me not that long ago i actually came across it while i was doing my research and the new resistance is a first person shooter game offering both a multiplayer and pvp experience with custom game modes and a co-op pve generative dungeon so I'm going to go ahead and refresh this for you guys so we can see just exactly what is going on. Right now we are watching a beta game of Team Deathmatch and this game looks visually stunning in my opinion for something that is in beta. I seriously think that if Kronos can actually master getting the first fun play to earn blockchain shooter game on Kronos Play that this would drive a ton of recognition and value over to Kronos. As we do know, as indicated by other games like Call of Duty, like Halo, like, uh, oh my gosh, what's it called? Battlefield, like Battlefield. Um, these play to earn shooters have a lot of potential. Traditional shooter games, people would 
pile money into those. There's literally tournaments for these shooter games. That is how popular shooter games are. Now, imagine if Kronos could master making the first blockchain shooter that does have play to earn aspects, whether it is, you know, selling like your guns as, as uh, NFTs in the future or potentially earning some sort of in game currency for doing different milestones, like whether it is capturing the flag, surviving a certain amount of time, defusing a bomb. Like, there are so many opportunities that this game has, especially when I do think of it in relation to other shooter games. And I think this is a very, very big opportunity for Kronos. So, this in specific is one that I will be keeping an eye on if there is some opportunity to play it or join the beta. I would love to do so and give you guys a sneak peek on what exactly is going on over here. But just suffice to say that there are tons of things coming to Kronos Play, in my opinion, as we can see, based on everything that was covered in this video. I really do think that we're going to see the Lions get their own Kronos Play metaverse very soon. We know that MMF is planning to launch their upcoming Mad Meerkat Arena. And then we also got these games that are currently out, like DG Pals, as well as the new resistance that is currently in beta. And once again, I would love to see this on a live server. So I hope you guys did enjoy the content in this video. I hope you did enjoy the two-part series. I think it really just needed two parts so I could fully break down in part one exactly why I think Kronos is so bullish on GameFi. And then I really wanted to use part two to show you the moves that they have been making behind the scenes as we have been keeping an eye on Kronos play for quite a while. And it would appear that some of these things we have been talking about for months now will finally start to come to fruition in the near Near term future. So on that note, I hope you guys did enjoy the content. I love and appreciate you all, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out for now.